Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. A um, couple of things today, um, I've been away just for a couple of days with a good friend um, and we did a charity shop haul and went to uh, check out the sale that was on in Waterstones. I wanted to do a little share of the bits and pieces that I've picked up and what I can do with them. So that's quite exciting. And the other thing was to do an update on my giveaways. Uh, the 600 um, the 600 person uh, follower giveaway on Instagram and the 200 thank you gratitude giveaway for YouTube the lacy um, uh, little um, oh, Edwardian lady things just to say um, guys I haven't forgotten this today's like the 10th of Jan uh, February and I'm about a week behind in my schedule so just to say that I'm just finishing this. I've just finished Becky's um, journal. Um, I'm finishing this one in the next couple of days, and I'm needing to get uh, so get that listed. Uh, and then before I do my giveaways, um, I need to really get on with the February collection of journals, which are so which will include like travellers' notebooks and um, sort of um, hardback journals that I've started covering in this beautiful vintage fabric. So I need to be working on that this week because I'm a week behind and that should be released already. Once I've done those, I will start the, um, the journal for Amy um, and the giveaways at the same time. So that's using, oh, if I can. So that will be the um, lace theme journals we looked at before. So please just bear with me guys. Um, I'm sorry it's taken so long. Just playing catch up so within the next sort of couple of weeks really the giveaways will be ready okay so until then i just thought i'd share first and foremost we went to i went to um uh salisbury with my friend um we basically try and have a mummy weekend every year where we just leave the families behind and we just uh, have a hotel somewhere we go to have check out a new city um, and then just have a little bit of lunch, we do the charity shops and it's it's lovely and we haven't had a chance to when we, we've, we've just done it. This um, say Sunday went on Friday to Salisbury. So I won't talk anymore but just share a couple of things that I, we picked up um, for my journals. So the first thing, this was a charity shop um, little find, uh, the Beatrix Potter's Gardener's Yearbook and it's beautiful. And I got that, I think it's 125 that that came to. But it's just filled with beautiful pages, if you can see. Beautiful pages that can be used with these lovely, lovely illustrations. Um, if you can see that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Snow and Beatrix Potter's Garden in the Lake District, January... 1913 so it's, it's lovely lovely beautiful 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 so um, I will be mm, let's see if I can can I move this round so that I'm not bumping the camera so I will be using some of these that they're lovely absolutely good I'm so so pleased to find this well it's a lovely find and I might just have to enjoy it for a little bit but I was thinking in some of the beautiful journals, like particularly for this fabric, particularly for this fabric, I'm looking to make some little mini um, notebooks, um, wrap around ones, and maybe some little traveler's note, uh, notebooks. It would be lovely, wouldn't it? It would be lovely. So that was the first thing. That was the first thing that I, I picked up. Uh, was that one. I picked up a little book. Um, let's try this one. Yeah, I might actually just read this. It's called The Tulip. And it's all about the, um, well, it's all about the history of the tulip and how it was sort of not farmed, but picked up on and picked up, um, traded and caught man's imagination. And they did the history of it, really. It's not a bit quite, but it actually has got some lovely um, illustrations. That's what really drew me to it. Whether or not I'd use this or not, or just read it first, I don't know. But that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. So there's that one. 
I've picked up this. It was now was a pound. Uh, the Pride and Prejudice um, colouring notebook. And there are pages in here that were going to be so nice to take. Because I do like to add colouring uh, coloring notebooks or colouring pages to my um, to books, uh, journals. So some could be um, traveller's notebooks. But just look at how gorgeous these images are. The business of her life was to get her daughters married. Its solace was visiting and news. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. So there's there's a lot of potential. Look at these fans, fans and beautiful gloves. So you will be seeing these in my um, upcoming journals. Darcy had never been so bewitched by any woman as he was by her. He really believed that were it not for the inferiority of her connections, he should be in some danger. Oh, right. Look at lovely afternoon tea. Oh, there we go again. Oops. There we go. So. Lovely, lovely. Beautiful colouring page. And I really liked this. I really liked this um, just for um, like a little reading journal. Isn't that a lovely image? So I picked that up. Also, I, gee, I paid four pounds for this, but which is a lot for me, not gonna lie. But when you see the um, the pages inside, of course, Special Days, a record book, and it just says museum selection, and we're not really sure which museum it is, to be honest. But so for um, but inside, it's got like uh, these little pe pocket pages, these little pocket pages. So I suppose your idea is you have like a celebration, um, anniversary celebration sort of diary. And so you have the beautiful cards that you can send out for that month. But look how lovely that is. Look how gorgeous that is. And then it's got like its little coordinating little pocket. But what's really beautiful about this, this book is that every month has its own design. And it's, it's complete. It's complete. So they have their own beautiful pages beautiful beautiful pages beautiful pockets and the coordinating blank cards to go with them I might have to do this in two parts actually I might have to do this in two parts we'll see so that's lovely just a gorgeous combination of colors just a gorgeous combination of colors So I've turned one of my main lights off here, guys, because I didn't want to get the glare, but now I'm getting a shadow. It's trying. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous. And this is lovely. Look at the, the colours on that. Beautiful. Beautiful combination of colours. This blue is lovely. And again, it's got the card. And as I said, so this could quite easily come out and uh, it could make a for a little Trapper's size notebook i think that's going to be ideal don't you absolutely ideal to pop into a traveler's notebook and uh, a little pocket and feature i do you know what? i think it's one of my favorites it's really caught my eye because i'm an r for four pounds um when i first picked it up but when i saw this and thought well do you know what? you've got these beautiful 12 pockets so that's a special days record book so i picked that up uh, we went to Waterstones and, um, oh, let's do this first. Also, just um, for, in the, uh, oh, what's the word? The word is charity shop. I picked up these for a pound, these um, napkins called Victorian Vintage. And I really liked them. And also considering that with um, Amy's um, sort of lacy Victorian vintage type thing, we will be using i think these would be really nice for sort of like um cards the decoupage 
cards and whatever. So I thought that would be, they'd be useful for a pound. And also, I can find it. I'll pick this up. This is another, this is a different day actually, but for Amy's book and also for the giveaways, I picked this up the other day. The Victoriana. I don't know if you can see how beautiful this is. Victoriana notebook. It was 150. But if you can just see how it's just it's just filled with lovely pages. Lovely pages. Look at that. I don't know if you can. Is that it? Oh, oh, I'm I'm so I was so excited. So excited with this. So you will be seeing these um in the next few weeks um in my uh, in these journals, the very lacy, Victorian, pretty. It's just, they're just too nice. Look at that. So I was really, really pleased with that. Is that Lily of the Valley? These would be all, almost nice enough to put on the covers, wouldn't they, on some of the traveller's notebooks. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, what else did we get in the... Just got some... Um, a really big book for a pound a really big book of music paper and it's a lovely 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 color um and it's it's a really yes it's lovely so i was really pleased with that because see it's so thick and you can see just how much there is of it there so i picked that up i don't know what the copyright is on that uh what date so it's piano I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. So I picked that up and I picked another one. So also, right, so as, as well as the charity shops, uh, the Waterstones um, store had a sale on. Oh, no, this was a charity shop jobby as well. Let me just pop this there so you can see what's on. I picked this up for a pound. It's the Pictorial Webster's Pocket Dictionary. And... Um, if you can see, but it's just filled with images. These little images covering all sorts of things would be so useful for little bits of, um, I've just done a stag stamp. But, you know, just to pop in to different, on different pages or, look at that. If you can see. I was really, really impressed with that. Or just to put the, the pages in themselves or just sort of tear little bits out and pop them onto cards or whatever. So I was really, really pleased with that for a pound. So that's another thing. So we also, I picked up, um, now for this, oh, do you know this? I'm, uh, I'll show you the fabric I'm going to be working with. It's kind of like that. So this is for the February collection. That's kind of fabric. Um, I've already started to introduce onto this one. For instance, I've popped a little vintage, is part of a vintage bracelet that I think gonna, uh, I'm going to use for the closure. But um, I just love it. I love, love, love it. So anyway, I saw this for £2 and I picked it up and I thought, oh, I could probably take that to bits. I could probably take that to bits and um, use it as part of this collection. But when we looked at it a bit, closer and you can see the work in that tina my friend and i we thought do you know what i might just wear it i might just wear it but i just love it because it looks like sort of woodland well like the sort of bark and the florals and although i think these bits they, they sort of come apart these little sections and i did think about it for this i mean they would look lovely as part of that but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to wear it. I think I'm going to wear it. But anyway, keep an eye out because I might be lying and you might, you know, by the time I present this woodland, uh, this um, February collection, you might see it on there. You never know. Also, for I like to take bits to pieces. I like to take bits apart to um, pop on um, tabs and things. And if you can see how gorgeous these... Uh, da, 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 da. I hope you can see how gorgeous the colours are on these beautiful, beautiful beads. They're absolutely lovely. So I picked that up, this little bracelet. I might take that to bits. And this one as well, I loved. And I think it was a pound. Even little bags are gorgeous, aren't they? There you go. And on these, I just thought, I hope you can see them. 
and you see them but they can be taken to bits and I wouldn't mind sewing them or just popping them onto the front of a little journal I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with those but I will use them so there's those and then we went into water oh yes there's this I think I picked that up at it was 125 it's so funny this made us roar with laughter but um they just have these fantastic old um, images and funny little sayings. Friend, a good friend is cheaper than therapy. A friend is someone who likes you even though they know you. And just the, the funny little pictures. It's absolutely full. It's absolutely full of lovely images. They're just such fun. They're just such fun. Oh, this was really funny. Eat up, dear. Then you can tweet all your friends what you had for breakfast. It's a different age, isn't it? It's a different age. Anyway, so I'll pick that up. In Waterstones, they had um, a sale. 75% off. I'm liking that a lot, not going to lie. And this is the first thing I picked up. So, um, a cath kit and fold and mail stationery. So, it's kind of like the old airmail letters. So, you obviously write on it. And then you just sort of fold it up and post it. So um, these are going into my journals, but they are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at these lovely, 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 lovely. Oh yeah, I pop that. There. Beautiful image um, designs. Beautiful designs. Lovely colours. So. I, I love this, I love this, and I think, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if they're available online, but we got them on Saturday, yeah, it was just yesterday, so they may still have some online, but that was worth whatever 75% off of that is, well worth it. Also picked up, um, they were selling off their calendars, so this was 75% off, I think, and it's vintage maps. That's going to be really useful. And it's a lovely, lovely weight of um, card. Vintage maps 2019. And that's all the maps that are on this little calendar. So they'll, they'll make lovely little cards, to be honest. Little um, journaling cards. I loved this idea. This was 75% off of... Hmm, I don't know what it was. It's 10.95 US. I don't know what it was. In pounds. Anyway... This beautiful journal, um, and it's filled with lovely, lovely pages. Beautiful colours, but look at these designs. Aren't they fun? So they can be taken to bits and just pop them into different journals, or even to make little journaling cards with. So, yeah, I was really pleased with that, and I love the, the vintage type, brighter type um, cover. I like that a lot. I'm wondering, that could even be a little... Oh, I don't know, we'll see. I can do something with that. So there's that, and then there was this, um, it's a writing set. Oh, it's a writing set, and um, there's one open. So anyway, I picked this one up. It was 75% off of the 19.99. How are we doing? Maybe 20 minutes. Okay. I need to do more experimenting with my, with nice writing things. It's um, I can see what people do, but you know, isn't that lovely? So that's that was that one. So I picked that up. That's for me. That's for me. Experiment with the journaling. Also liked this. Again, it's seventy five percent off, and that was eleven ninety nine initially. So say twelve pounds. Oh, was it about three pounds then? Uh, three four. Yes, yeah, something like that. So, but it's a beautiful book, and the pages are just such fun. Just such fun, and be very useful. Very useful. It's a nice weight paper. So that's going to be really nice, really good to use. Also, Cavallini and Co. had some, um, these were half price, so I paid £3 for these. For £125, these lovely, um, what are they called? Paper clips. These round paper clips, so can you see them? 
So you'll be seeing those. We went into a little shop that had, um, it was, um, oh, like, not, what's not free range? You know, um, oh, um, mm, sort of, uh, oh, do you know, not free range? Where people, fair trade, fair trade um, uh, little gifts and things. And they had these little bags. And sadly, they'd reduced them, these little fabric bags. But I love the fabric. They're very useful bags, actually. I might just use it to store stuff. But I just loved, I just loved the, the design on it and the colours. It looks really summery. So you may actually see these on the front of a journal. You might do, guys. Lots and lots of fabric. And I've just received some um, stamps. Um, I've got them from New Zealand, I think. Some rubber uh, acrylic stamps with this sort of fashion on it. So I can feel one of these retro kind of... Um, designed uh, journals coming on and finally as we were we kind of parked up we had breakfast on the second day in a little gallery and uh, we, so we parked up and we had like three hours and we thought we'd come you know anyway on the way back to the car park there was a little uh, market stall with books and this caught my eye for a pound and it's absolutely gorgeous let me just pop this down before it falls um, it's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So you open it up, and of course you get the big butterfly, and um, and a bit of history, etc., etc. But then as you go on, as you go on, you get these beautiful pages filled with butterflies. Let's carry on a bit more. Let's go towards the back. Absolutely chock a block. With these lovely, lovely, lovely images of butterflies. Almost looks like wrapping paper. So I will be using this a lot. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So um so that's it guys. You will be seeing these. Not gonna lie, this is how, how gorgeous are they? Look how big that is. That's my hand. That's my hand. How big is that image? So, 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 and there was a lovely, there was a lovely picture, I can't know if I can find it again, of a vintage, um, this, yeah, this lovely vintage picture of this guy, Butterfly History, and you can see, I don't know how far back that goes, obviously collecting butterflies, isn't it beautiful, isn't it beautiful, Butterfly History. So, right, we've gone to 23 minutes, guys, I'm not going to go any further. Not going to go any further so that's it that's my um haul um from the weekend away um i hope you've enjoyed uh, i love seeing what other people pick up and uh, you'll be interested to see these things pop up in the next few weeks in my uh, journals it may well be coming out to one of you so take care guys thank you very much and thanks for your patience when it comes to the giveaway it will be coming i just need to schedule you know what i'm doing um haven't forgotten about it but it was in on its way if you haven't um subscribed before to this lovely uh to my channel and want to join the journey please like and subscribe and check on instagram most days i try and do a post i mean last few weeks it's not been daily um it's just been crazy um but i do try to um so take care thanks for joining me for this one and i'll see you again take care bye bye